Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I create my light show effects using the Ableton Bush 2. This can also be done on the Bush 1. So right now, as you can see, I already have the light show running. So every pad has its own unique light pattern. And in my Ableton Live session, you can see I have two tracks. One has a drum rack with the actual samples that are being triggered. And then I have another MIDI track with a MIDI effect track with a bunch of different chains that trigger the light effects. Okay, so let me show you how to create something like this from scratch. So I delete this lights track completely. Now you have to be in user mode for this to work. In the regular mode, it's not going to work. So I'll switch back to user mode. So right now I can trigger the different samples in the drum rack. But the pads don't light up. So I'm going to now create a new MIDI track. Now we need to set up the input and output on this track. We'll set the input to Ableton Push user bot. And then for the output on this MIDI track, I'll select the same Ableton Push to user bot. So this creates the LED light feedback. So let's turn on that input monitor so it's always running. So now we're getting the LED feedback, but the actual lights are a bit random. It changes based on the velocity of the note. So to address that, and to do more interesting things with the LEDs, we will make use of the MIDI effects. I'll first load in a MIDI effect track onto this track. In here, we can show the chain list and then see the key zone editor. So when I play a note, we can see which note is being triggered here. So now it's just a matter of adding in specific MIDI effects onto that particular key to create a light pattern specific to that note. Now the first thing we need to address is the LED color. As we know, it's controlled by velocity. So let's load in a velocity MIDI effect into this rack. By default, it's mapped across the entire keyboard range, but let's limit it just to that one note. You can trigger the pad to see where exactly that note falls. All right, so now we have this velocity tool just for that one note. Let's set the velocity to fixed over here. And now based on this output value, we can set any of the different RGB colors. No matter how hard or soft the pad is triggered, we always get the same LED color. If I change that output value to 1, we'll get a different color. Alright, now let's make something a bit more interesting. Maybe have multiple pads light up when we trigger that one pad. For this, we can make use of the chord MIDI effect. I load the chord MIDI effect onto the same effect chain. So for this one note, the velocity tool is fixing the LED color. And now with the core tool, we can light up additional pads. So if I set this to 1, you can see another LED lights up. Let's set Shift 2 to 2. And we have another pad lighting up. I'll set Shift 3 to plus 3. So just like that, using the core tool, we can create interesting visual patterns. And of course, you can set that up for different samples. Now another thing we can do is to make those LEDs blink. For this, we can make use of the arpeggiator. So I'll drop one into that same chain. So now let's see what happens when we trigger the sample with the arpeggiator on. That's pretty cool. We can make this a bit more smooth. I'll increase the rate. Maybe I'll increase the gate time. So it looks a bit more smooth. Now I don't want it to repeat again and again, so I'll set the repeats to 1. Now you'll notice that if you tap the pad for a very short while, the arpeggiator stops immediately. You can choose to hold down the pad, but if you don't want to, we can use another MIDI effect, the note length MIDI effect, and use that to simulate as if you are holding down the pad. So if I set the length to about 200 milliseconds, that's only going up to that third pad, so let's increase that a bit more. And now you can see it plays through all the four pads. Alright, so now let's do something a bit more complex, combining the same MIDI effects. So let's say for this sound, 
I want to create a visual explosion in a cross pattern. So let's see how to do this. I'll duplicate this chain. Select the chain and hit Command D. And then let's move it to this node. So I want this, but going in all four directions to create that explosion type effect. I also want a different color. So let's change the node velocity. That looks good. All right, so we want this exact same pattern, but going upwards, let's say. So what we will do is select the chord and arpeggiator MIDI effect and combine them into another rack. So you can just hit Command G to do that. So now if we open up this MIDI effect rack, there's this one chain that has the lights moving to the right. Now I'll duplicate this chain and change the chord values to make it seem as if it's moving upwards. I'll reset it first by just selecting and hitting delete. So let's find out what shift one should be set to. So I'll trigger the pad. I should be going upwards. So let's move that up. So plus six is the one we're looking for. Next. Plus 16 works. Let's go even higher for the next one. Plus 24 should finish that off. So now we have the explosion in two directions. We need two more sides. So I'll select this chain, duplicate it. Reset the shifts on the cards. The backwards one should be simple. Negative one, negative two, and negative three. Okay, you notice here that it's going in the wrong direction because of the arpeggiation being set to up, but we can switch that to down, and now it's correct. All right, now for the last downwards direction. So I'll duplicate this chain and find the correct values for the chord shift. We're going down, so it should be negative values. That's a bit too much, so I'll pull it back up. So that's one right below. The next one, we want it right below that one. Minus 16. The next one, negative 24. And finally, the last one, negative 32. So now when we trigger this pad, we get that explosion style effect. And the previous one still has its own independent light effect. So that's basically how I create my custom light shows. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to check out the full version of this mashup on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more.